On March 23rd, the Ukrainian Special Operations Forces Command announced a video showing their forces attacking a Russian zoo park radar system in the Donetsk region. In a statement on Telegram, the press agency of the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense said, The Special Operations Forces, in coordination with the Unit of the Defense Forces, destroyed a major target in the direction of Donetsk, which was the Russian 1L220 Zoo Park 2 reconnaissance and fire control radar system. This move came two days after the Kremlin announced the destruction of three American ANTPQ-37 firefighter radar systems provided to Ukraine. Speaking to Newsweek, Matthew Kankian, a senior researcher at the Naval War College, said, Both of these radar types are used to counter the enemy's artillery fire. This means that in case of an artillery attack, if these radars are available, we will know the firing position of the enemy and can use artillery to retaliate. The use of these radar underscores the importance of artillery on the Ukrainian battlefield. Despite the presence of many high-tech weapons, artillery still plays a crucial role throughout the conflict, especially those systems using heavy shells up to 45 kilograms. The Donetsk region continues to be a focal point for both Russian and Ukrainian forces. The city of Bakhmut in Donetsk has become the hottest spot on the Eastern Front since July 2022 witnessing fierce clashes as both Ukraine and Russia deploy troops, tanks, and artillery there. Ukraine and Russia have used various reconnaissance systems to determine the location and firepower of each other's artillery as both sides plan major offensives this spring, including the Zoo Park and ANTPQ-37 Firefinder radar systems. Today, let's explore and compare the capabilities of these two radar systems with the U.S. military summary. Please stay tuned. One, Russia's Zoo Park Radar System. There are two versions of the Zoo Park Radar System, including Zoo Park 1 and Zoo Park 2. Zoo Park 1 is a Russian reconnaissance and fire control radar developed by Tula Strela Company, operational since 1989. The system is equipped with a passive electronically scanned array radar. The Zoo Park 1M version of the system has been deployed since 2016. Zoo Park can detect up to 70 artillery fire events within a minute and simultaneously track up to 12 targets. The OE ODIN Data Integration Network, specializing in classifying global weapons, believes that the 1L260 Zoo Park 1M can automatically determine the coordinates of enemy artillery vehicles when firing, such as mortars, howitzers, rocket launchers, and tactical ballistic missiles. This radar system is also used to calculate projectile trajectories and adjust the firepower of artillery's forces. A standard Zoo Park 1M system includes a 1L216 ground reconnaissance vehicle, a 1L38 maintenance vehicle, and an ED60 generator vehicle. Deagle, a website specializing in providing information about military equipment and civil aviation, says that Russia can also use this system to monitor their own artillery systems. According to some reports, the Zoo Park 1 radar system can detect the firing positions of artillery shells from 82 to 120 millimeters at a distance of 17 kilometers, 105 to 155 millimeter howitzers at a distance of 12 kilometers, multiple launch rocket systems (MLRS) at a distance of 22 kilometers, and tactical missiles up to 45 kilometers away. According to Odin, the Zoo Park 2 radar system, introduced in 1999, is capable of detecting the position of mortars, howitzers, rockets, and tactical missile launchers. Zoo Park 2 can calculate the impact points of enemy fire. The system has an internal navigation system that allows it to operate autonomously. Additionally, the system is equipped with a communication system for command and control tasks, according to the Odin report. Jordan Cohen, a defense and foreign policy analyst at the Cato Institute, said, Zoo Park 2 has essentially addressed accuracy issues encountered by Zoo Park 1 by integrating new software and hardware, resulting in more effective terrain surveying. 2. Firefinder Counter-Battery Radar System According to the ODIN, the ANTPQ-37 Firefinder counter-battery radar system was developed by Hughes Aircraft Company in the late 1970s and deployed in the 1980s. It was subsequently produced by Northrop Gumman and Raytheon Systems from 1982 to the present. In addition to the United States and Ukraine, several other countries such as Australia, Portugal, and Turkey also use this system. 
Odin states the ANTPQ-37 is an electronic control radar that scans an area with a wide 90 degree angle to detect incoming enemy missiles, artillery shells, or mortar rounds. Upon detecting the enemy's projectile path, the system determines the firing position, then begins tracking and continues searching for new targets. The ANTPQ-47 system is an upgraded version of the ANTPQ-37 system. Odin reports that the ANTPQ-47 has a larger scanning range than the older system. In addition, it has faster installation and replacement times and requires minimal manpower for operation or maintenance. According to analyst Cohen, Zoopark has a larger operational range compared to Firefinder. To address this issue, the United States has provided Ukraine with the ANMPQ-64 Sentinel 3D radar system, which has an operational range comparable to Zoopark. Guy McArdle, editor of the American military magazine Sofrep, also believes that Zoopark outperforms Firefinder in terms of operational range. He notes that Zoopark can detect the firing positions of artillery shells at distances greater than 22 kilometers and missiles at distances of 45 kilometers. In contrast, Firefinder can only detect the firing positions of artillery shells at a distance of 14 kilometers and missiles at a distance of 24 kilometers. So we have just learned and compared the Russian Zoopark radar system and the American Firefinder counter-battery radar system. These two systems are almost equal in terms of specifications, strength, and accuracy. The only difference is that the Russian Zoopark radar system has a longer detection range compared to the American Firefinder radar system. And that's all for today's content. What do you think about this story? Please share your thoughts and feelings in the video comment section. Thank you for following and supporting us. If you enjoyed this, please give US Military Summary a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. For now, goodbye and see you next time.